this video, we're going to go over the Property Genie documents. If you'll go to System Settings and Documents, this is where the system stores what documents to be used throughout the program. You notice at the bottom portion of the screen, the Forms location, this is the default documents that Property Genie distributes with the software. Any of the documents in this forms folder on your computer can be edited, changed to meet your needs. Um, these documents are stored wherever you tell Property Genie. So you can come in here, browse out, and change this path. If you're on a network, you could use the network drive. If you're sharing by another means uh, besides Dropbox or you can use any application that allows you to say, st uh, store and share documents in the cloud. Um, in this example, we're using Dropbox. So these forms are located here. Those are the master forms that you will use. And then when merged for a particular property or tenant, when they're generated, this is the generated document saving pass below. You have a properties folder, prospects folder, and owners folders. These, again, all these locations can be changed to meet your needs. What we're going to do now is we're going to add a new document and then show you how you can use these documents. So we're going to say add document. We're going to put this document on the property and where you put this determines how it can be, how and where within Property Genie it can be accessed. So for a property, that would be you want to use it for a tenant. So we're going to browse out to the file name, and I've saved this document that I created out here under Welcome Letter, and we're just going to add that document. You'll notice that it said that the document was saved correctly. What I'm going to do now is actually show you that letter. In these brackets are what are mail merge fields. So any bracketed fields in these documents, you want to leave them in the brackets, otherwise the data will not merge in. And this formatting is very specific. It has to be exactly. Um, if you need more information on a listing of those, you can contact Property Genie and we can get that to you. Um, otherwise, for the most part, all of the documents have the fields in them for you to see. So you'll notice in this one, CUR date is in brackets. That will pull the current day's date. You've got the tenant's information. You've got, again, the ten dear first name. Um, you've got the company name, which is your management company's name. Also, their uh, name, address, city, state, zip, and phone. And then at the bottom, you have the property manager's name in brackets. So whoever the property manager is on that particular property, their name will merge in. So what we're going to do now that we've added that document, our welcome letter, we're going to go and there's a couple of different ways that you can use these documents. We'll start by going to directly to a property. So we're going to go to the property manager. I'm going to go and just pick a property, double click to open the property. And then from within the property, if we go to the documents tab, Next to select a document, if you click the drop down, you go down and you'll find that welcome letter that we just added. Once you click create, it's going to give you uh, a few options. You can print it, you can view it, you can email it, or you could do all of them. So for now, we're just going to view this on the screen. We click generate, and then it will it'll populate Word with those merge fields from within that uh, property's record, the tenant's information. So you see here, the current date came in, the tenant's name address, the management company's name, management company's address, phone number, and then the property manager's name. So now once you save this document, it will be there under the property. The other way that you can do this is to go to the tenant coordinator and tenants, and then you have a merge document button. If you click that button and hit the drop down and go to welcome letter, that's the one we just added, you have the ability to choose multiple tenants, or you could select all of them. And what it's going to do is generate a Word document for each of the tenants that you choose and populate those with the information out of the property. And that's all for our documents. Thanks again for watching another Property Genie video.